Okay, I'm gonna show you how to play the world's best bingo game. The first thing you'll do is prepare your um, bingo board. So you'll print out one of these for everybody. Um, you just need one. And we're going to fill in the numbers one through 25 in any order um, in the board. Okay, once you've done that, then we need to roll the die four times. I got a one, and we're going to write them in the four lines that are at the top here. A one, a six, a two, and a four. Every game is different because you're always rolling different numbers. Now, you can play this game with as many people as you want or as few people as you want. And the nice thing about it is everybody plays together to try and get five in a row. You can get five in a row down, across, or um, diagonally. And um, the way you do that is you're going to use the numbers that you have at the top, in this case, one, six, two, and four, with any kind of math um, to make one of these numbers. So what happens, let's see, let's just add them together, see what we get. One plus six is seven, plus two is nine, plus four is 13. So we can cross off the 13. Um, something else we could do, we could do six minus one is five, five plus two is seven, seven plus four is 11. There's two in a row already. One times six is six, and two plus four is six. Six plus six is 12. 12, there we go. Um, you can also put digits together. So I could do a 24 minus 16, and we would have eight. The only rule really is that you have to use every one of these digits and you can only use them once, um, but you can use any math at all. And you can do a lot of math even just with um, addition and subtraction, especially when you're combining different numbers here. But the more math that your group knows, um, the more things that you'll be able to do. Six times two is 12, four times one is four. If I add those together, we get 16. So you just keep going and people will be calling out, um, like if you have lots of people playing, they might say, oh, I got 18. And so then the others, the others just need to ask, um, uh, how did you get 18? And then they will explain how they did it. It's helpful to write it down so that you don't forget. Um, and then once they've proven it, then they can cross off their number. So you can add subtract, multiply, divide. You can even use, if you have a, a two on here somewhere, you could do numbers squared. So you could do four squared, which we know is four times four. Um, so that's 16. So you could do mm, four squared minus six. So that's 10 minus one is nine and cross that off. So you'll just keep going, people working together until you get one whole row crossed off um, and then you get bingo. So that's how you play the world's best bingo game.